So recently, I've gotten a lot of messages on people asking me how to make sure my crocodile skink is eating. Uh, either people are just a little concerned that their crocodile skink might be losing weight, or they just haven't noticed their crocodile skinks eating, and they're just concerned and don't really know what to do. And this can be a scary thing for new pet owners. You know, you just got this animal in, you want to make sure it's eating, especially if you got something as far as an import or wild caught goes. You want to make sure, you know, maybe it has parasites or something like that. You just want to make sure that you're doing the best for your animal. Today I thought I'd make a video talking about the three things you can do to make sure that your crocodile skink is eating. So let's sit back, relax, and dive into crocodile skinks. the same thing you know when I first got my pair of crocodile sinks I wanted to make sure they were eating you know I was couldn't really tell and I threw the food in but you know as this being such a shy species I wasn't sure they were getting the food you know then the next day comes over and you lift up a cork lock and all of a sudden you see those six doobie roaches or crickets you know under that cork lock and you're not sure well you know what am I supposed to do why you know if these guys aren't gonna get the food what can be done this is where I find tip number one to really be the most effective and that's going to be dish feeding so, I mean, dish feeding is pretty, you know, self-explanatory. You know, you get a dish of, you know, whatever. I'd like to keep them a little bit um, on the taller end just so the insects can't escape out. Usually if you use something a little more shallow, like, um, I don't know, a plate or something like that. Some of the reptile bowls as well that have the uh, porous edges, things like doobie roaches and even superworms, they're uh, shallow enough, will be able to climb right on out and then, of course, burrow inside the substrate. But dish feeding, you just pretty much put a dish in there, like I said, tall, and you put the insects in. Now, dish feeding is great because you can pretty much count the number of insects you put in there. For instance, you know, if you put eight insects in there, wait a couple of days and then come back and there is, you know, two insects in there, you'll know that your crocodile skink ate six insects. Now, I find dish feeding to be very helpful, you know, in making sure the crocodile skink eats. And I actually still use this method to this day. Uh, I offer a variety of, you know, of just throwing in some crickets and doobie roaches while also dish feeding anything that comes from, you know, phoenix worms, uh, calci worms, super worms, meal worms, stuff like that in the dish. Definitely a variety of things you can use to dish feed, depending on how large is the insect you are going to be feeding. Uh, anything such as like mealworms, phoenix worms, calcium worms, some of the stuff that I mentioned earlier. Uh, you can do something as little as, say, like a deli cup. It's going to be uh, tall enough, you know, not shallow uh, at all, where the fact that they can't escape out of it, whereas if you have anything larger, something like a ceramic bowl would do the trick. And moving on, let's get to tip two, but real quick before we do, guys, if you guys can do me a huge favor, uh, go to that lower left-hand corner, hit that like button for me, it would really help me out. By the way, while you're down there, you know, we do have some DBCV Exotic merch going on right now. It's got the logo, it uh, looks very nice. You can get it in tank tops, t-shirts, hoodies, there's a couple different things. You can check that in the description below. Thank you so much. Okay, time to get on more with the tips. But moving on, let's talk about tip number two, which is going to be adding a variety of your Croc Skinks diet. Just like most animals, croc sinks can be a little picky, so it is very important for you to add that variety to the diet to really make sure you know to see you know what they want to eat. This diet can include anything such as crickets, doobie roaches, mealworms, superworms, waxworms, calci worms, phoenix worms, tomato hornworms, red wigglers, and so on. I'll give an example: if you're using the tip number one that we talked about, which is the dish feeding, and say you put doobie roaches in there, you got eight roaches in there, you give it a couple days, and you notice your crocodile skink still hasn't eaten those roaches. Well, at that point, you can start supplementing with different things and really experiment with it. You know, every other day adding a new item. So let's say put some superworms one day, some crickets the next, some mealworms the next, and some phoenix worms, you know, things like that. And then really figure out what your croc skink enjoys. Just to add as a disclaimer, because I know someone's going to say in the comments if I don't, if your crocodile skink is only eating something such as superworms or waxworms, do not feed that as a staple. Those are way too fatty on their own. Again, that's why I'm preaching stuff as a variety instead of things as a specific staple. Um, feeding something such as just waxworms and superworms, again, it's gonna be too fatty. It's gonna lead to um, illnesses such as fatty liver disease and so on. It's not a good idea. You just wanna be able to use those as, again, part of the variety. But I do find it very interesting, you know, even in the three pairs that I have right now, it's so funny seeing each individual's preference on food. I can tell whenever I put a new food item, which one really favors it over the others. Before we get to tip number three, let's talk about the new guys that are having trouble, you know, figuring out which food item to give to their croc sinks. Any of the crocodile skink owners that are watching this video, leave a comment in the comment section of what your croc sinks favorite food item is. All right, and then running down to our very last tip, tip number three, let's talk about, well, looking at the poop. Now you'll know something's going in if something's going out. <laughs> oh man, that was bad. 
<laughs> it's a great way to tell if your crocodile skink is eating. It's very true. Stuff's not going to come in out of the crocodile skink if stuff is coming in. So just take a second, you know, every week or so, every twice a week, you know, make sure. Are you seeing poops in there? If you're not necessarily, uh, if you're you know, having some trouble making sure that your crocodile skink is eating, if you're still seeing poops and the crocodile skink isn't losing weight, it's a pretty clear indicator that there's something that is eating. This is why I do think it's very important to make sure that when your crocodile skink is overgoing its quarantine process, you know, to make sure that it is not on a bioactive substrate. Uh, not only is that not beneficial for the fact that if you have anything that you have to deal with any type of internal parasites, all that soil is going to need to remo be removed and thrown away because the parasites will be living in that soil. But also it is the fact that those bioactives, the clean and crew, such as, you know, springtails, isopods, things like that, they are going to be eating the poop, which if you know, you want to make sure your crocodile skink is eating, that is a clear indicator or really even the status of what the fecal matter looks like. Uh, it's a good indicator with fecal matter, not only to see if your crocodile skink is eating, but also the health of the animal. You know, anything like runny, drippy stools is definitely an indicator that something is wrong. So actually, all right, after editing this video in full, I've realized it's pretty short. So we're gonna go ahead and throw in a bonus tip. Oh my God, yeah. <sighs> So bonus tip, if you're finding your crocodile skink is actually just refusing food altogether and you've tried these three methods, adding a variety and dish feeding and you know if they're still not eating, it could be due to some sort of husbandry reason. Uh, that may be, you know, insufficient temperatures, maybe it's too hot, maybe it's too cold, uh, humidity might be a little bit off. So uh, any of those husbandry related things, you can actually check out my care guide that list up here, but there could be another reason as well. And that reason is going to be the amount of hides. Now, as I mentioned actually earlier in this video, crocodile skinks are a very shy, reclusive species, really only coming out on the hours of dawn and dusk. With that being said, they're going to spend most of their times in these dark, damp areas. So if your enclosure is a little more bare, a little more open, you know, something like say a 10 or 20 gallon tank that really only has one hide in it, your crocodile sink is not gonna feel very safe and secure inside that enclosure and well refuse a meal. For any of the enclosures that my adults are housed in, I like to give the options of at least three to four hides per uh, setup. You know, that way they have multiple places to go on multiple areas around the, uh, <laughs> Multiple areas around the enclosure, whether they want to be on the drier end, the more uh, moist end, a lot, lot more humidity, or even a hide where the water area is. This way the crocs things just feel more secure in general, you know, being where wherever they go, there is only a hide, you know, just a couple of inches away from them. And that brings me to another great point of adding, you know, instead of just all dual hides themselves, but also adding stuff like large coverage, like bioactive enclosures such as planted tanks, or even just leaf litter themselves they can hide under while they're burying or scurrying around the enclosure. It's something where they're going to feel a lot more safe and a lot more secure being able to explore around the uh, house. House. Uh, the, the setup. Uh, if you guys are interested in you know, what a good looking bioactive enclosure setup is, I actually made one not too long ago, maybe a couple months ago, I'll put it right there as well. And there you guys go, bonus tip. That's it, cue past Dakota for the outro now. And there you have it guys, three tips to make sure that your crocodile sink is eating. But now it's your turn. Leave me a comment in the comment section on one tip you would give a new crocodile skink keeper. And other than that, if you like the video, please feel free to give us a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of my animals or my breeding products, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at DBCB Exotics. Other than that, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day.